Yesterday was the 29th day of the Omer. And yesterday we were talking about that Chesed Shebehod is making space for another person, recognizing that another person exists. And how do I do that? By acknowledging that the other person has his feelings, has his opinions, he has his life, and I have to make space for another person. This is the Chesed Shebehod. Gvurah Shebehod, in order for me to make space for another person, space means that uh, to acknowledge that the person exists and that the world is not only evolving around me, that there's other people in the world. In order for me to do that, then I have to make myself smaller. Or the Kabbalistic term to it is let some tzemet at me, is to make me not as great as I think that I am and to move myself aside a little bit. And why should I do such a thing? Is that the other person should be who he is. Sometimes people want to try to overpower another person or try to define to them what they need to be or me trying to control another person or just me saying I am the center of attention. I don't care about other people. And of course it all has to be aligned with the Torah. It's not when he wants to be who he is uh, that it's against the Torah. If the person is going against the Torah, I don't have any obli obligation to make room for this person. I'm talking about a person that is uh, uh, around me, that is following the path of the Torah, and I need to make space for that person. And in order for me to do such a thing, then I have to admit that every person has his space. That's what we said, said yesterday about Chesed Shebe. Hod, Hod can be explained as Hodaya, as thanking, but a Hod can also be admitting that I admit to somebody, to something. This is called hoda'a, lehodot. In Hebrew, to admit is ani modeh. Like you say in the morning, modeh ani lefanecha. I admit to the Kadosh Baruch You pray three times a day, we say modim anachnu lach. I admit to the Kadosh Baruch that he's the master of the universe. How do I do that? And there are many ways of doing it, but first I have to know that the way to do it is that to look at every person and know that I can learn something from that person. If I'm looking at another person and right away I'm brushing him off, then I don't think that the person has any type of uh, uh, worth. It doesn't worth anything. But if I see I can learn from you something, then suddenly you have value. So I have to understand that I have, can and should learn from any other person. I'm not the number one. Moshe Rabbeinu maybe can be the one that says, uh, that I have what to teach. But even people as great as Moshe Rabbeinu, like David HaMelech, David HaMelech says, I've learned from every, every person. 